and welcome to the third tutorial of the series Lost in the Sea. As I said in the last tutorial, today we are going to see two ways to create rocks. The ones you see here are fully, are fully low poly style and pretty easy to do. And these ones right here are more of a cartoony style with round corners. I'm going to show you both ways and you decide which one you want. If you want to skip to the second method, go ahead and you can go to around the third minute. If you want to do the first rocks, we are going to need to download the low poly rock generator plugin. It only takes a few seconds to set it up and go ahead and you can download it from the link I left in the description. Unzip it. In Blender go to File, User Preferences. In the Add-on tab, go ahead and press this button, Install from File and select low poly rock. It should already be there, in case it isn't, just search for low poly and select this one. Now you can save user settings and we are good to go. Just add the ocean with H. Now every time you press Shift A, you are able to create a low poly rock in the mesh tab. It's the last option. And before you start moving your rock around and lose these options, let's have a quick look at this panel. Down here is the option for more rocks, the size, the aspect ratio, if you want long rocks on the X axis or Y axis or tall rocks on the Z axis. The nice center option, if you take a closer look, you can see the modifier rotating along the Y axis. The simplicity parameter is pretty amazing, because it allows us to control the amount of faces. And if you push the values of simplicity and sharpness lower, you can easily create a simple flat pebble. Or if you push the sharpness higher, you can create that quartz looking rock. In the advanced settings, I advise you to be careful with subdivision, it can really get slow, because it's gonna generate more faces. And just one more thing, remember that the higher the strand, the shrinker it will get the rock. Wait just a second, don't move your rock, because now we're going to save this preset for a later usage. Or if you have messed around too much with this rock, you can always go back. After you are done generating your rocks, you can enter in edit mode with tab and change things that you don't like. And that's how I also created these rocks you see there. But where I work, we decide to change the rocks and give them more a cute look but still with a low poly kind of style, so we decide a few more faces won't hurt. And that's the second method that we are going to see, so go ahead and create a cube. And the idea behind these rocks is that the overall appearance are like steps, or like stairs. By this I mean that there is a lower part, then a mid level, and finally the highest point of the rocks. But we can't make rocks look like stairs, so we have to create round corners with bevel modifier and something like sediments or layers to give the idea that it has taken years for the nature to create those rocks. And it's not going to be one big rock, it's going to be fragments of rocks that are side by side. But you can also make one big rock if you wish. So yes, we can use Ctrl R and create the first steps of the stair. In the bevel modifier, there are two ways that I like to use it. One is with the offset methods, which is set by default, and the other one is percentage. Percentage lets you expand the wide of the bevel without worrying if there is space for all the edges to get the bevel, and not overlapping each other. Now, the higher the rocks, the thinner they get, unless they are stalactites and grow from the ceiling of a cave. And as I said, let's create something like layers and cut the rock in half two times with Ctrl R and make the base a bit larger. And in object mode and with the rock selected, duplicate the rock with Shift D and place it along the X axis side by side with the original rock. You can enter in the edit mode, erase the, erase the left parts and select for vertices and create faces with F until everything is closed. This piece of rock can be a bit taller with a larger base, like if it was the continuation of the first rock, 
And you can also add more horizontal cuts to give the sensation of layers. You can also try to create some small rocks to give some detail and put them alongside the base of the big rocks. And then you can populate the rest of the ocean and the island with more rocks. And that's basically the idea or concept behind this type of cartoonish rocks. There are plenty of rock types and you can and should experiment by yourself to see what comes out. This is just to give you a few ideas, a few lines. In the next tutorial we are going to see how to give some details like an abandoned barrack made of wood and leaves and a few more things. So thank you for watching, subscribe if you like it and see you soon.